Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright and this is an energy healing recap video where I tell you what I did in today's group energy healing, why I did it, and I direct you to some super cool walkthrough videos so that you can do one or some or all of the energy healing techniques on yourself. Uh, today's date is Tuesday, the 17th of April, 2018. And since it's Tuesday, Today was the third in the set of three healings in the triplet group energy healing set that we've been doing. Um, this set is uh, for 71 people in uh, nine countries, including eight kids, so hi kids. And um, hi in particular to my newbies, hello, hello, or almost newbies. I have some people that you know, maybe this is their second triplet set ever. Um, in addition to, you know, a ton of people that just love them and keep coming back for more. So hi everybody. And, um, and hi to all my Energy Geek viewers that may or may not, uh, uh, they just don't do every single one, so the bet they're learning from the videos. Um, that's awesome too. So anyway, uh, let's see. Today's healing was 27 minutes long. And uh, the theme, the theme, I'm gonna call it flower healing for emotions. It was about time-wise, maybe the last uh, third of the healing. Um, certainly last half, but maybe even less than that time-wise. But, but the, the initial part of the healing was kind of a setup for that last part. Um, so, um, this uh, this whole triplet set, um, just to you know, back up for a second, has been uh, themed fun emotions and sensory and enjoyable sensory experiences. So enjoying your senses, like uh, really enjoying taste and you know music and uh, smells. You know those are all senses. Uh, nature experiences, really you know being present to enjoy those experiences of your life, and. Um, of course, fun emotions, you know, it's like playfulness, joyfulness, all that. Uh, but the point was to give you enough self-mastery so that you could self-regulate and really, you know, be kind of a powerhouse so that you could be safe and present enough to, you know, have those lighter experiences every day. Um, because that's the irony most people don't think about, that you have to be pretty powerful. <laughs> I mean, I wish that weren't the case, <laughs> but you have to be pretty powerful in order to have joy on a consistent basis or playfulness as a, you know, as a working adult <laughs> on a consistent basis. Um, so that was um, sort of the focus of this set is to to get you by the end more playful emotions, but um, you know, how, in however way the angels felt was best uh, for these seventy one participants. So um, we've been doing, uh, to my surprise and delight, and to the delight of many people, we've been doing work on uh, two different Chinese medicine meridians, Chinese traditional Chinese medicine meridians, um, which you know I'm I'm kind of uh, how would I say it properly? You know I'm just the angels are showing me like little bite-sized versions of little parts of traditional Chinese medicine. Um, to use in an energy healing way uh, for the 71 participants and also you know that you can use on yourself so I definitely recommend all the the walkthrough videos of this triplet set uh, for that you know any of them they all have like meridian in the title uh, you know CV and GV are the names of the meridians that we've been working so GV governing vessel meridian this is the external part of the governing vessel meridian And then this is the CV meridian. Um, this is the external part of the uh, CV meridian or conception vessel meridian. So anyway, those two meridians, which I'm sort of calling the back one and the front one. <laughs> 
Uh, but anyway, you have actually 14 meridians uh, in your body according to traditional Chinese medicine. And these are just two of them, but they're kind of very key ones that help to you know, set the tone for the others. Um, so that's probably why the angels picked them out for me to work with for you. For today's healing, I'm going to make which will just be a, a touch more about that meridian stuff, um, healing the meridians. But it will be a video that um, you'd probably, that meridian one, you'd probably watch if you've already done the other meridian videos. Uh, you know, flower healing for emotions, something like that in the title. <laughs> Um, the flower healing video that I'm going to make today, you could, anybody could do that one. Um, it'll be nice. Uh, okay. So as I was hoping, the angels did, uh, help me to figure out, um, you know, how to bring out l more lighter emotions because, you know, as you get more present in these meridians, um, sometimes you actually become aware of the problems that you've had. It's not like a party all of a sudden, <laughs> you know? A lot of people though, more, most people did have strikingly positive experiences with these healings, um, these particular healings in this particular set, but not everybody, you know? Sometimes, you know, if you have a lot of imbalances here or here, when now that you're more present, you're like, wow, that's tight, or wow, that feels funny. But, you know, fortunately the technique videos help you to keep working on it so that now, you know, if you work on it, it could feel better than it's ever felt in your life, which, you know, yay. Um, but anyway, so, uh, but as I hoped, the angels did help me to lighten it up even more with the uh, flower healing, the, uh, the emotions, flower healing for emotions. Um, so time-wise, what we did is, um, we of course started by redoing the gold energy aura buffer zones, you know, and if you know how to do that, just do that right now. You know, just take a, a second, you make two of them, uh, one for each aura that you have. And uh, that is explained in an 18 minute video called Gold Energy Aura Buffer Zones, which I'm sure I've already put in the playlist for this triplet set. Uh, and I do recommend using playlists when you watch triplet videos if you, if you want because it's a convenient way to have all the videos at your fingertips that are relevant for this triplet set. So you don't have to like search for ones that I'm mentioning on any one that has to do with techniques used in this healing. These three healings I will put in that triplet playlist. Uh, so if you go to my YouTube channel and you, I mean, I'll have the playlist linked at the end of this video, but um, you know, just if you want to see any playlist for any triplet set that I'm doing these days, um, just on my YouTube channel in the playlists tab, they'll be listed. But anyway, so time-wise, we did the gold energy or buffer zones for starters, just to keep you safe. And then we did um, a mix of tricolor earth energy soak, which is just centering with earth energy. Um, you know, you bring up earth energy in three different colors. Um, and I'll, I'll, you know, put a, a video in the playlist uh, for that. Um, we did, it had tricolor earth energy soak, It'll be an older video because I already have a ton of these. Uh, Tricolor Earth Energy Soak, Divine Gold Sandstorm, or DGS, your know, little bits of gold light that spin around uh, your grounding and your aura, and they help you to release a lot. They're really nice and relaxing. Um, and then supersizing chakras. We actually did that at the beginning and the end of this healing uh, today. We supersized the chakras, particularly three, two, one. Uh, third chakra, second chakra, and first chakra. And that's just because people were getting a lot more present, really, than they've been in a very long time. I mean, some people, a lot of people that do these healings and use my techniques, my techniques, they're not mine, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Watch my videos and, you know, learn techniques from the videos and use them. Um, uh, they're, they're already really present. So they're getting more present, but it's not like night and day, but people that are, um, 
you know, some people that I'm watching that are in the set that, um, you know, they're usually pretty out of it. Um, they, they are really checking in a lot with this, these techniques of, of working these meridians, the, the, the back one and the front one. Um, but uh, expanding three, two, and one of the physical body chakras, just making them bigger and roomier and more flow so that the spirit clicks in much, much nicer, um, I felt was good for this healing. So I don't know if I'll put that in the title though of the, the theme for the set. Um, I may just leave it as, you know, flower healing for emotions for the theme. But, uh, but we did do supersizing. And so I will definitely, of the, you know, that, that quick flow playlist has a lot of great uh, DGS Earth Energy Soak videos in it. And there, uh, there is one that already has supersized chakras. So I'm just gonna put that. It's an older video, but it's great. Not older, like, you know, older, like two months old. <laughs> um, Anyway, so I'll put that in the playlist uh, so you can do that one um, to, you know, if you want to replicate all the effects of today's healing, the Tuesday healing, um, it'd be a great one to do particularly. And also if you have been doing, receiving this healing, supersizing your chakras for the next couple of days, I think would be nice. Or even the next week, you know, just particularly the lower ones, you know, like in the, be in the beginning, I help people supersize three, two, and one of their physical body chakras. And at the end of the healing, I help people supersize their second and their first chakras um just again just after the emotional flower healing um just to you know again get a roomier fit for your spirit because a lot of times when you're cranky or when you're tired or when you have some sort of a weird feeling unless it's you know dramatically negative and then it, that's aura damage but if it's not dramatically negative, a lot of times it's either your grounding is blocked up, which is your connection to the center of the earth, which, you know, helps you get rid of stuff. Um, that could be blocked and or you're just too cramped in some of your lower chakras. So supersizing helps that, you know, uh, opens them up again and makes them bigger again. So you have a nice roomy fit. And, you know, the DGS is, you know, unclogs your grounding really well. Okay, so then that was actually about 12 minutes of the healing. So I really took my time with that. Um, and I did some combing through the aura, you know, of course, with the DGS stuff, uh, divine gold sandstorm process. But again, that'll be in the walkthrough video that I put. And that'll be this, the one with supersized chakras in the title. Um, actually, the video that I'll choose, I think, has like, um, I think it even has a little bit of work on the legs, but I, I didn't do leg work in the healing, although that's a good idea. <laughs> so, so I think, um, you know, if that's in the video, that's good. Um, good to do. So, okay. So that was 12 minutes into the healing, which is what, like, you know, the first third of the healing. And then, um, we did just, uh, more of what we did on the Sunday healing, which is to work with the two meridians and, um, remove beings, remove energy cords, and heal fraying <laughs> in the, the GV meridian and the CV meridian. And uh, so I'm not gonna go through that. I'm just telling you what I did right now, but um, those walkthrough videos, um, you know, I did really good on those. <laughs> Stayed up late to make them. Uh, <laughs> good job, Janet. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so, uh, if you want to replicate, you know, the effects of today's healing, uh, or build upon it, I would say redo those Sunday, uh, it's like the part two and the part through three video, uh, from Sunday. And you know, if you're advanced and you just need to hear something once and then you kind of got it, obviously you can just freestyle, you know, like do the techniques in your mind. You don't have to listen to the video, but a lot of people I've learned, even like intermediate level people like walkthroughs, like a lot, um, more than freestyling. I tend to prefer freestyling, but I will do walkthroughs too. Anyway, not that you needed to know that. <laughs> Okay, so, so yeah, so I'm not gonna uh, make another walkthrough about that because it already exists. And then um, after the extra meridian work that I did, I did this cool little trick, and I think I will make this a, um, a little video. 
it was meridian related um and it helps you bring in positive emotional energy um it has to do with balancing the meridians in order to bring in new energy so um i will make a small video on that so that'll be the part two video for today uh the tuesday healing uh will be um just, you know, it'll be something like balance meridians to bring in new energy, something like that. And again, like I said, that part two video from today, it, it will, and I'll put it in the, I'll put a message in the video to remind you, but it, it assumes that you already have done uh, at least the Sunday, you know, part two and part three videos, um, Sunday meaning April 15th, uh, that uh, the title starts with heal fraying, <laughs> um, because... You know, it just assumes you have that level of knowledge. And then this is just one final thing that you can do beyond that. Uh, but anyway, so then uh, we did the emotional flowers work. And that will all be described in the part three video. And again, the part three video from today, uh, April 17th, um, it will have um, flower healing for emotions, something like that in the title. And uh, that will definitely uh, be you know approved for all levels of experience and there'll be no video that you will have had to already see in order to enjoy that one um so that's good and it will it will have that flower healing stuff but it will also have um you know a little wrap up at the end just so you can you know feel nice and centered at the end of it so um so we could end this video right now with an angel blessing, an angel healing and blessing, because that's how we did end uh, today Tuesday's healing. Uh, so go ahead and just, you know, if you want, close your eyes. I usually do that when I ask my angels for a blessing. Uh, but, you know, if you're cooking or something, keep your eyes open. <laughs> Pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> But um, with your mind, go ahead and just ask your angels. Angels, can you please give me a blessing and a healing? And just keep taking deep breaths. Um, and, uh, so that's pretty much it. Oh, a small news item is that, um, the June triplet healing themes are posted on my website's payment page. If you want to see the themes for the June triplet sets, they're up and, uh, there are only four spots left in, uh, the triplet set that's right after this one, the one on abundance and for chakra stuff so like courage clearing fear abundance stuff like that uh so so that one has such a sexy title everyone's jumping in real fast <laughs> so don't snooze on that one folks uh and you know if you're not if you're not a paying participant you can of course learn from the videos as always all right um so you're awesome yay uh, I hope that uh, if you're a participant, I, I appreciate the surveys for sure um, because these are all new techniques and I would love to also see your Tuesday survey uh, whenever you end up doing it in the next couple days. Um, so I guess that's it. You're awesome. Bye.